My dear family, about five weeks ago, more or less, we began our walk with Jesus in the desert. We started with Ash Wednesday. And on Ash Wednesday, we were reminded that we are dust, and unto dust we shall all soon return. Then during this desert, we, we will find struggle, we will find difficulties, we will find pain, we will be tempted. And as we get closer to Holy Week, we are now reminded of that shortness of life, how short our life is. We're slowly being invited to look at death, straight in the eye, face to face, and say to death that it's been defeated. There, are, there is no longer fear, but now there is hope. For us Catholics, for us Christians, for us who believe, death is no longer the end, but the beginning. It is almost like a seed that is planted and produces much, much more fruit. It does not die for its own sake, but for it to produce more life. We believe the same is true for a believer. We believe that in the resurrection. Not only because Jesus showed his power over death by rising from the death, but also because he rose Lazarus from the dead. He is the reason for our hope, and we will commemorate his rising from the death on Easter Sunday. For us who believe, for us Christians, for us Catholics, the reason for our hope in the middle of our desert is the resurrection. Yes, we may find pain. Yes, we may walk in struggles. Yes, we may suffer. There will be temptations. But at the end of the journey, we can look at death straight in the eye and say, I fear, I fear you no longer because I have hope, hope in eternal life. For us, we simply believe in the resurrection. But what is that? What is the resurrection? What does it actually mean? We, we, would, we do not believe that we reincarnate we do not believe that we are reborn into a different type of human or that we are reborn into maybe even an animal. We do not believe that. We also do not believe that we become angels, which is sometimes what we tell people, uh, that we, are, have, we have angels in heaven. We do not believe that either. What we believe is in the resurrection. Belief in the resurrection means even something deeper. It means life, belief in life eternal. Life through Jesus Christ. We, we will still be the people who we, who we were here on earth before the eyes of God. We will not become angels nor different human beings nor animals, but we will remain the same person but glorified. The same person glorified in Christ, and yes, we will get to keep our own bodies. They, they will be bodies that are glorified in Christ. It will, it will be a body free from the stain of sin, a body that is free from any impurities, a body that is free from pain, free from suffering, free from struggle, and free from temptations. It will be a body that will never die again. It will be a body that will not age anymore. A body that will not get sick. A body that will no longer need any type of material nourishment. When we die, we do not become other humans nor angels. But we become resurrected. Our souls will await for a glorified body until the day of our final judgment. We, we will look like we looked here on earth, but with a body that has been washed in the waters of Christ. 
Just like Lazarus was still Lazarus and Jesus was still Jesus, we will still be ourselves, but glorified in Christ. Therefore, when we pray in the creed and when we say that we believe in the resurrection of the body, we profess exactly that. We, pro we, we profess in that belief. It is this type of resurrection that gives us hope. It is this what gives us a reason to hope. It is this resurrection in Christ that gives us peace even in the middle of suffering. It is this resurrection that gives us relief in the middle of our desert. Maria family, do we believe in this type of resurrection? <laughs>